behind in other states in doing this, allowing military overseas and other voters and their spouses to return their ballots by mail. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson calling on lawmakers to enact new laws and policies to improve our state's elections. Benson says Michigan is lagging far behind other states for Americans living abroad who send in ballots electronically. During the 2020 election, she says several ballots from U.S. military members were returned too late to be counted. TV5's Raven Blue tells us what Benson says needs to be done to get Michigan up to speed. With primary elections a few months away, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson announced policies she believes will protect the voting process. During a press conference Tuesday, she outlined four nonpartisan policy changes to maintain safety and security for voters and election workers. We've talked a lot about election changes and policy priorities over the past several years. Uh, this is what we need for November, uh, and it's time for them to, for those who have expressed support to the press or behind the scenes to now step up and get it done. Benson is asking to allow for pre-processing of absentee ballots so unofficial ballot results can be announced on election night in an effort to combat misinformation. With false conspiracy theories that undermine our elections themselves, spread false and confusing theories as to what and why the results will be what they are, and threaten ultimately not just our democracy, but our citizens' faith in their voices and their vote. Benson is also calling on the legislature to dedicate $100 million annually for local governments to use for election administration and the security of elections and election officials. In recent years, we've seen election officials and workers being the targets of threats, in part as a result of the growth of misinformation around our elections, and this has become a truly un-American and unprecedented barrage of threats and harassment to our election officials and their families. Benson says her office will not be sending out absentee ballot request forms this election cycle. She says they no longer need to advocate because people know they can vote from home because of the 2020 election. Raven Blue, WNEM-TV5.